Welcome back for more Spider-Man Amazing Allies, and last time we learned that we need the Shocker's Gauntlets to make the machine that's going to deal with the Symbiote Invasion. No biggie. So we're going to grab this power-up, but in order to proceed, we need to change into our black suit and ram through the wall. Now, the black suit is a whole lot more aggressive in function than the red suit. You can still juggle, but it's not as easy. And, oh. Spidey's pool hall, eight ball speaking. I intend to show off a lot of power-ups in this level, starting with the Hammer Hands. The Hammer Hands just make all of our punches do way more damage, and also it's a hilarious animation because our, our hands are now hammers, of course. It's really fun. It wears off after a short period of time, but the short period of time is a lot longer than most power-ups still. Anyway, as I was saying, the black suit is a lot more aggressive focused and so are its power-ups. I'm sorry, aggression focused. It also has that ram attack that the red suit doesn't have. We can use the ram to break through cracked walls, but you also shouldn't underestimate its combat purposes. We even bought an upgrade for it before this level started. We can still juggle with the black suit, but I don't find it to be as easy as it is with the red suit, but that's perfectly okay with me. There are different reasons to play with both. Before we get any further, there is another power-up hanging out in the air over here. Most of the power-up pickups are of course optional. Very few of them are on the beaten path. It's right up oh, missed it. Missed it. Missed it. In spite of how badly I'm goofing up here, Spidey actually controls pretty well in the air. He turns around very fast. And if we just make a quick... Yep, there we go. And down here is a side quest. It's actually entirely optional to talk to that guy, which I think is kind of interesting considering you learn a lot about the situation from him. We don't know why Shocker would attack this hotel, at least we didn't until a bit ago, but now we know it may have something to do with insurance fraud. I mean, that's probably probably not a sane thing to do, is ask the Shocker to blow up your hotel so you can claim insurance. But you know, it's not like the insurance company would tell you no, because it's probably broadcast all over the news at this point. I like that one of Black Spidey's attacks is a backhand. It's pretty funny. Anyway, in order to break through a door, we need to be a little bit back from it. I'm sorry, break through a wall, we need to be a little bit back from it. We can't charge right next to it. But we don't need to be that far back. A lot of power-ups in this level. I think there's something like 15 power-ups in this level. I'm not sure we get them all. Excuse me if sometimes I stop to look at my Spidey sense. I'm always pretty sure of where I'm going, but I want to make absolutely sure because if we miss anything, I'll be very sad. This level is the first one where we encounter dudes with guns. The dudes wearing the backwards baseball caps have guns. Also, we can't normally hit enemies on the ground, but with, uh, never mind, hold on. We got the web darts equipped. 
They just, they're basically fists that we shoot out of our web cartridge, and it's hilarious. Very useful. There's virtually nothing that can stand up to them. Anyway, we normally can't hit enemies while they're on the ground, but with that uh, attack we bought for Black Spidey, where our dash turns into a tackle... Oh! Some of the side quests require backtracking, so you do have incentive not to do them if you just don't feel like backtracking. We're gonna switch to Red Spidey first. Don't want to terrify her. Anyway, Black Spidey can hit enemies on the ground with that tackle we bought for him. So it's very easy to stunlock them, and if we time it perfectly, we can actually kill most enemies in one hit with it. I'm going to try and get a fair amount of both red and black reputation so that we can, we can get uh, plenty of upgrades for both. We're probably going to end up getting more red reputation though because I have a conscience. There's still plenty of places where you can choose the black choice without any real negative side effects. So we'll try to catch those. All the enemies deal decent damage, especially on normal mode, or sorry, amazing mode, but one thug by himself is not much to worry about. Black Spidey's web cannot tangle up enemies like Red Spidey's can. It just hits them, and it doesn't do any real damage either. So both suits have their advantages, but I think uh, Black Spidey's dash tackle is way more useful for combat. But we'll, get, we'll use both plenty of times, don't worry. I suppose you could argue that the graphics in this game are kind of dull, but we are in New York. I mean, what did you want New York to look like, not New York? We can also collect power-ups with our webbing, by which I mean if we touch them with the edge of our hand. It took me a while to get that power-up, at least the first time. We're hopping around a lot here, and that's because that's the easiest way to deal with thugs coming from both sides. We can always stunlock them with Spidey's dash tackle but jumping and smacking them on the head is the second best option. Man, they're just power-ups laying all over the place here, aren't they? I don't remember them being this numerous. Then again, there, like I said, there are about 15 here. You might think it's kind of an annoyance that you can't normally hit enemies while they're on the ground, but there are, you know, oh shit. But there are specific attacks that allow you to do such. So I don't think it's that big a deal, you know? It's part of the game mechanics. It's an intentional piece of design. 